NVIDIA just lost $5.5 billion. And it wasn't because of a stock market crash or poor earnings. It was because of a single chip. Meet the Ascend 910C, Huawei's latest AI processor that has taken the tech world by storm. Under heavy U.S. sanctions, nobody expected Huawei to catch up, let alone challenge NVIDIA's dominance in artificial intelligence. But this chip isn't just catching up, it's competing head-on. And the consequences are already being felt on Wall Street. What started as a quiet launch inside China has now sparked a global shift in the AI arms race. So how did Huawei pull this off? And why should the United States and NVIDIA be seriously concerned? Let's break it down. To understand this moment, we need to go back to the sanctions. The United States placed Huawei on an export blacklist, cutting it off from advanced semiconductors, software, and manufacturing tools. The intent was clear. Halt China's progress in next-generation computing and prevent Huawei from accessing sensitive innovations. For years, this policy seemed effective. Huawei's smartphone business declined, and many assumed its chip development efforts were stalled. Analysts predicted China would fall years behind in processor design and fabrication. By limiting access to critical lithography machines and AI-focused hardware, the U.S. aimed to keep the technological upper hand. But behind closed doors, Huawei was quietly working on something transformative. Enter the Ascend 91C, Huawei's latest AI chip and the unexpected hero of this story. This processor wasn't just another iteration. It marked a major shift. Reports indicate the 910B performs at or above the level of NVIDIA's A100, a chip widely used in data centers for machine learning workloads. What makes this even more astonishing is the 910C's development timeline. It emerged under sanctions designed to block Huawei from exactly this kind of progress. Yet internal tests suggest that not only does it train complex neural networks effectively, but it also does so with competitive efficiency. That performance, achieved without access to the world's most advanced fabrication tools, signals a significant turning point. The global chip race has a new challenger, and it wasn't supposed to be this fast. Behind Huawei's chip success lies an unlikely partner, SMIC, or Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. SMI is China's leading chip foundry, though historically considered behind the curve. However, using older generation tools and extreme resourcefulness, SMIC has manufactured the 910C using a 7 nanometer process, an achievement many believed impossible without EUV technology, which is restricted. Industry observers doubted SMIC could reach this level of sophistication, yet here they are, defying expectations. Together, Huawei and SMIC have constructed an alternative semiconductor pipeline, showing that even with restricted equipment and limited access to international vendors, progress is still possible. This defiance of technological constraints not only shocked the tech world, but also demonstrated the resilience of China's domestic innovation under pressure. NVIDIA has long been the undisputed leader in the AI hardware landscape. Its GPUs are foundational to everything from scientific simulations to chat GPT-like models. The A100 in particular has become a benchmark for training speed and efficiency. Until now, no competitor outside the U.S. ecosystem had come close to matching its prowess. Huawei's new chip changes that narrative. If performance benchmarks hold true, then the 910C introduces real competition in a space previously considered monopolized. For enterprise clients and governments wary of dependency on American suppliers, Huawei's chip offers a compelling alternative. This sudden parity between NVIDIA and a sanctioned entity illustrates how global leadership in AI infrastructure is no longer guaranteed. Why should Washington care so much about one AI processor? Because AI isn't just about faster apps or better cameras, it's about national power. Machine learning tools underpin cybersecurity, intelligence analysis, autonomous systems, and more. If China can produce its own high-performance chips, it diminishes the effectiveness of U.S. sanctions and shifts the global AI balance. Huawei's success shows other nations that technological containment is not a foolproof strategy. It inspires a wave of independence, where countries aim to control every layer of their digital ecosystems. Moreover, this shift could reduce demand for American design processors, shrinking U.S. influence in crucial supply chains. In strategic terms, AI is the new oil, 
and Huawei just struck a reserve without help from U.S. companies. That sets a precedent with deep consequences for global leadership in emerging technologies. The Huawei case raises a difficult question. Are export controls still effective in a world where technological knowledge is rapidly disseminating? Sanctions were designed to delay or halt China's ability to innovate in semiconductors. But now China has demonstrated that it can catch up faster than anticipated. The 910C's emergence under heavy restrictions suggests that even without access to ASML's lithography systems or American chip designs, determined players can still engineer workarounds. This could lead to a reevaluation of sanction strategies. Instead of halting progress, they might simply shift the axis of innovation away from traditional hubs and toward decentralized ecosystems. This shift undermines the strategic advantage sanctions were supposed to protect. For policymakers in the U.S., this development challenges assumptions that technological supremacy can be preserved through isolation alone. The competition between China and the U.S. in technology is no longer theoretical. With Huawei's resurgence in chip design, we're witnessing a new era of direct rivalry. No longer limited to software or telecom infrastructure, the contest has now entered the heart of computing itself. This isn't just about who sells more phones or cloud services. It's about who builds the foundation of digital intelligence. The success of the Ascend 910C doesn't just signal a technical achievement. It represents a broader push for independence and leadership. China is no longer content with being a consumer of advanced processors. It aims to be a creator, supplier, and exporter. This moment marks a shift from dependence to self-reliance and potentially global influence. Huawei's breakthrough with the Ascend 91C isn't just a technical achievement, it's a signal. A signal that global power in AI is no longer concentrated in Silicon Valley. Despite some of the most aggressive sanctions ever imposed, Huawei has not only survived but innovated. And that innovation just cost NVIDIA $5.5 billion. This moment challenges long-held assumptions about who leads in technology, about the effectiveness of economic restrictions, and about how fast the global balance can shift. Huawei and SMIC's collaboration shows that with focus, funding, and urgency, even the most complex technological feats can be achieved under pressure. But this isn't just about China catching up. It's about the future of digital sovereignty. Countries worldwide are now realizing they can't rely solely on foreign hardware. The ability to design, produce, and deploy AI chips domestically is becoming a core part of national security and economic independence. For the United States, this development is a wake-up call. Innovation cannot rest on past dominance. It requires relentless investment, smarter policies, and stronger alliances. Because the next frontier of power isn't oil or data, its intelligence, shaped by whoever owns the AI infrastructure. Huawei's 910 billion proves that innovation doesn't ask for permission. It finds a way. As the AI arms race accelerates, the battle will be decided not just by code, but by chips. And whoever controls the hardware controls the future. The question now is, can the U.S. keep up?